I finally did it. I finished top 10 and I won ruffles in the NBA 2K19. And I got my unlimited boost. Watch this video and you can too. And I'm seeing all y'all emotions. Came a long way for roaches. I ain't ready to burn, get the rolling. I ain't never needed nothing broke. Low key, we should just left you with shoot four corners. Green. That green? Yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? It is Power DF back with another video. Now, as you guys can see here, I did win the Ruffles tournament yesterday in NBA 2K19, one of the huge park events. In this video, I'm basically gonna show you guys everything I got and I won in Ruffles, and I'm gonna for you guys trying to win it yourself because they're gonna have eight of these events. So there's gonna be plenty of opportunity for everybody to win. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and strategies to show you guys how you guys can win it yourself. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to my man's Grinding DF, Yeti DF, and Amps DF for helping me grind and win this raffle. It's actually finished number four, and you have to finish top ten. That's the place and get the rewards. But none of my teammates actually won, and I'm going to go more into the point system and why I won and why they didn't win later on, so I can give you guys more tips on how to win that. But first thing I do want to show you. So when you win raffles, you have to get these unlimited boosts. I did get a lot of questions about this. People were asking me pretty much... Do the unlimited boost apply to all your players? And no, it's only on the player you win it on. So it's right here. And if I think you can maybe get on another player, I think it's whatever. Because after you win, Ruffles, a big message pops on your screen. It's like you won, and then you walk into your my court to kind of unlock it. So I think if you actually, after you win Ruffles, you quit out and you go to your other player and you walk into your my court on whatever player you want, I think you can actually win it on one player and get it on another player. But um, that's not confirmed. But anyway. You can only get it on one player. I got it on my rebound express. That's the only player I use anyway. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you guys. This is a whole nother video, but these unlimited boosts literally make me unstoppable. I shoot like a pure stretch. I rebound like a pure glass. And I play defense like a lockdown. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. I'm gonna have to show you guys in my next video. Um, so make sure you guys sub and be ready for that. But anyway, I just wanna show you the rewards right now. So those unlimited boosts right there, obviously they're very, very nice. You get these special Rev Ruffles clothing right here. The thing is, I'm gonna go to the um, my player. And I'm gonna show you guys. But the thing is, last year they had shorts. I don't know if they just forgot the shorts this year or they just didn't put them in there. But I didn't get any shorts. And nobody else that one I was asking around, they didn't get shorts either. But I get a Ruffles shirt. I don't get the shorts. I don't get the shorts. But I get a um, I get a Ruffles shirt. Where's the Ruffles shirt? Right here. And it has power on the back. It has your name on it and your number. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a custom. My player jerseys right here. The, I didn't get a head, there's no headband for it. So I just, this is a regular white headband. You get the arm sleeves, the Ruffles arm sleeves, very, very nice here. So it's basically just a shirt and the two arm sleeves. So those are nice Ruffles clothing to kind of show off that you want Ruffles that nobody else has right here. See power on the back. I was supposed to get like some kind of special icon, but I, I honestly don't know what happened because I only have the Court Conqueror icon. 2K, if Baluba, Ronnie 2K, if you're watching this video, I need my Ruffles icon. That would be so cool. If you guys seen people who won Gold Rush, they have a huge icon by them. And you're supposed to get one for Ruffles. It said it in the rewards, so I know you're supposed to get one, but I just didn't receive it yet. So I guess that's 2K again. Fits your game, you feel me? <laughs> but I'm also going to show you guys in the My Court because I want to show you guys kind of for what the My Court, you get like special things in the my court too so i'm going to show you guys right quick let me skip this cutscene. that makes no sense <laughs> who, who would want to watch elevator cutscenes anyway i don't know what 2k was thinking but if you guys look into my court once i load in you're gonna have like a huge special banner just for um winning ruffle so it's it's kind of nice i mean i don't go to my my court that much but this is where you're gonna go to unlock your stuff so as soon as you win ruffles if you do win you want to run right into this my court you want to go here and you're going to see this big ruffles thing you see the four corner banner right there and that's how you're going to know you won and then you're going to get your unlimited boost and everything and the unlimited boost you get you guys saw that special symbol it has the infinity symbol right there so you know they're unlimited right there but i do want to show you guys that's pretty much all the rewards you get the shirt the clothing um i haven't ever seen my icon but you get the um unlimited boost the banner over there but i do want to show you guys kind of how what strategies i use what did i do to actually win how did my team go about winning and i'm going to tell you guys some secrets that you guys 
can use to win the Rough Wars next time it comes. I think it's in two weeks. It's not next week, but the week after that, they're gonna have Rough Wars again. So I'm gonna go straight in that. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna switch to over some gameplay of us playing, and I'm gonna tell you guys all about that. All right, guys, so this part of the video is gonna be all about how you can win the Rough Wars tournament next time it comes out, and basically some of the strategies I use to actually win the tournament, and basically what I did. Now, I'm gonna give you guys some basic info to start that all of you guys should already know, but just in case some people are like new to the game or something. Now, Rough Wars is a 4v4 challenge, and the rules are there's a four pointer, and everything in front of their four point line, you guys see the blue line is the four point line. Everything in front of the four point line counts as a two. So there's no three pointers. If you shoot what is normally a three pointer, it just counts as two. So there's only four pointers, and there's two pointers. And I basically wanna explain to you what my lineup was. So right here, it was grinding, we were grinding, so we ran two scratches. I'm a um, rebounder scratch, he's a pure scratch. We had um, Yeti DF, he's also a rebounder scratch. So we were actually running three centers, and we had a, um, we switched, we were playing with amps at the beginning, but his, we was tough for us because his power went out, one of my teammates' power went out in the middle of the game. So we had to get a new play shot, we got um, dribbling, so that's how base I was. So we had a play shot, and we had two rebounding scratches and one pure scratch. And what you need to be concerned with this is your lineup doesn't matter too much. The best lineup for me, I just like having a ton of shooters to spread the court around in the passes so the, the lanes aren't clogged. But you can definitely play with a glass cleaner. You probably shouldn't have more than one inside player. So maybe one glass cleaner, one post score, but everyone else needs to be able to shoot at least from like the three point line. So probably one inside player, three shooters, or you can go with all four shooters like me if you have someone like a rebounder spread that can play inside and outside like I can. So those are the lineups that kind of work. But the thing about the point system by Ruffles, it's not basically about how many games you win, it's about how many points you get per game. And this point system is, a lot of people shoot four pointers, but what I recommend is don't really shoot four pointers. Just go for twos every single possession. And the reason why I say this is because the four point bonus, at least when I was playing, they might fix this later. It was broken. So you got nothing extra for shooting four pointers. If you made four pointers, you got nothing to your four point bonus. They didn't give you any extra points. It was just basically a two contest. Like if you're wide open for the four pointer and you're a pure sharp or a pure stretch, maybe shoot that. But to be honest, I feel like people shouldn't be shooting four pointers. It's just waste time. And what you're gonna learn about in this point system is pretty much about ending games as soon as possible. Teammate grade matters the most, stats matters a little bit, but don't get obsessed with teammate grade. As long as you have a B plus or higher, you should be getting enough points to um, get points and stay at the top of the leaderboards. It's basically about who gets the most games because there's no point in extending the game for three or four minutes just to get a A plus or instead of a A minus, you feel me? So two game, getting two games in and then that whole time is better. So what I recommend is what you want to do is just end the game as fast as possible. And how we did that is we cherry picked, especially we play bad people. Because you really don't play competition. And if you do, you're going to play it rarely. We, I think we only lost like one game and we we're playing three centers out here. So what we did is we just reached all the time. We played all the passing lane. We double teamed. We're just trying to make them shoot as quick as possible. And then we cherry picked. So whenever someone would shoot, we would go get the board, as you guys can see right here. We go, we go get the um, board or offer shot and we just try to pass it down as quick as possible. And we run the fast break and then I pass it quickly to the inside and we just try to get a quick score. We don't want to spend too much time trying to score. If you get a rebound, know your um, player's icon, have somebody cherry pick, have someone already down the court for a quick dunk. That's how we um, got it done as quick as possible. We just let people shoot. You don't want to extend the game because you don't even get a win bonus in um, Ruffle. So it's not like winning gives you extra points. So to be honest, we weren't even concerned about how much we won or if we won. If we started losing, like we only lost one game, but if we started losing and we went down by a ton, we just left them wide open. We want to get the game open over as soon as possible. It's not worth making the game super long just to come back. You know what I mean? You just want to, you don't get kicked out of the tournament if you get eliminated or anything. So you just want to get all the games over as quick as possible. And usually the people that get in as many games as possible usually win the roughest tournament. But that's pretty much how we played. But there's a slight thing that you should know if you're playing ruffles. It's not really slight, it's kind of important, is you're going to have to be prepared to take a ton of losses. We lagged out, of probably I probably took like 5 or 6 losses just from lag outs. You're going to get dashboarded a ton. You're going to have a lot of issues. So you, that's something you got to fight through. Some people are going to quit when they get lagged out. Some people are going to quit when they get dashboarded. But if you just have to keep fighting through, what I recommend is to have like 
if you get if you lag out or you get dashboard load in the park as quick as possible have everyone join and get in their asap if you have someone waiting in the park for you and you can join off them that works so much faster but the key is you're gonna get lagged you're gonna get dashboarded some things are gonna happen there they have a lot of issues with the games but you just gotta keep fighting through it what i recommend is if you want to know how many points you should be getting is 90 to 110 points that's why i usually got per game if you get too many um times less than that then it's going to be problems and you can probably get 80 or 70 games sometime i probably did but you want to get reach for 90 to 110 points at the end that ruffles that tells you it's also double rep because you get a ton of rep i think i got like 50 percent of my bar um just from playing ruffles so ruffles is a big help for getting double rep and what i would just recommend is don't like don't overthink it because a lot of people they go out here and they just try to score all the points they just try to um drop as many points as possible but those are the people that actually end up not winning what you want to do is just you need high teammate grade don't do things like you can't leave your man wide open defensive breakdown kills your grade that's a big thing that people a lot of people don't recognize if you leave your man wide open he scores you that kills your grade if you get blocked that kills your grade if you get a turnover that kills your grade just make smart passes don't leave your man wide open obviously and you want to get a lot of assists and rebounds that's why glass cleaners are a lot of times at the top of the boards because if you get rebounds that helps a lot if you get a rebound and you put it back up for the score that gives you a big boost right there so trip back trip back points gives you a ton assist gives you a ton pass this assist. you don't always need a direct assist pass this assist gives you a ton screen assist so try to set a lot of screens the more screens you set the better in the play and just straight up assist will give you a ton of um stuff to give you those extra teammate grade and give you those points that you need to wrap up in ruffles but in reality a lot of it has to do with lag outs if you lag out a ton you won't be able to win it but the person that usually gets the most games in and they have a decent teammate grade that b plus if you get all b pluses and you just play as many games as possible you're in games like you want to end in like four or five minutes then you're probably going to win it's pretty simple just like that they i think they do need to fix the four point bonus because that is big but it's actually a very fun event to play you got four people in a party it's a lot of teamwork it's kind of a new mode and i really like it so i hope these guys i hope this um, these strategies help you guys win ruffles if you guys have any questions about what i did or what you should do to win ruffles you can welcome to leave it in the comment section below and i'll give you guys the tips the best i can i'll try to answer all your questions but i appreciate you watching the video i'm going to subscribe and i'm going to release a video very very soon about how overpowered my player is with these ruffles boost and i am out hi haters yeah. this is my world so it's all in my favor yeah. i like all girls yeah all type of flavors but that don't matter